What's up everybody, this is Josh here, call sign banger. We're here with the Airsoft GI Holiday YouTube Bigger Wins box. Not the premium, we just did that one before this one. This is just the regular, the $220 model. Um, I think I just went with the same wish list. I hadn't gotten my premium one yet. So I told uh, Cisco if he had gotten to any of the other ones to just scratch them off and gave him the same list. And on a, a more base budget than, you know, uh, the budget for the premium box, I said just send me a, a real Gucci pistol with some accessories and stuff. Uh, so it was that, and then like a little above that I wanted the Zion, uh, the Mod Zero, because I got the Mod 1 in my uh, one of my other premium boxes. And it was awesome, so uh, so I want the, the Mod Zero, the little one, to go with it. Um, and then uh, everything else was was a bit bigger, so I'm not sure. I mean, this could still be this could still be. Uh, I said uh, gas blow some gas blowbacks on a couple different budgets, so it's it's fairly heavy. It's all there for sure. Um, it definitely does feel like it's pretty weighted to one side like it's um you know the the box slides around in here quite a bit so it's it's definitely quite a bit shorter than the shipping box um but i think it feels bigger than a pistol i'm, I'm not sure Def definitely heavier than a pistol so i don't i don't think it's a pistol unless it's a giant pistol although technically i guess the mod zero is kind of a giant pistol itself but um <laughs> that aside uh Let's get into it, I suppose. The uh, the last box, the Holiday Bigger Wins Premium box, uh, we got the Mini Tactical uh, AK from LCT. So we got the magazine here from that. I feel like I've been using AK magazines a lot lately. But that's all right because I had a whole lot of M4s and I needed some diversity in my life. Ugh. Got it, didn't get it off, there we go. All right. It's pretty short. A gun that wasn't even remotely on my wish list, but it has always kind of been one of those things that I've sort of wanted anyways, <laughs> just because they're really cool. These and like the, the Novarich one that's kind of like it, that's uh, sort of a little pistol caliber carbine guy. Um, I really kind of like it because you can do a lot with these things. You can make a, a dang near little like pistol DMR out of these suckers. So, uh, without further ado, we'll get into this bad boy. Ugh. Also, you know what? I, I've i had a couple G&Gs, but I don't think I actually have a G&G &G right now. So it's it's nice to have a G&G &G back in the, in the collection. All right, some accessories. Wow, that is like a super clear speed loader. That thing's, most of them got like a little bit of fogginess or something to them. That one's just a nice little QD clip. We've got the Fat Boy Extended Magazine. It's got a pretty cool little base on it that I suppose helps keep the, the valve in the bottom safe if it happens to hit the ground and then oh we have this little bad boy this one that folds down there what the heck is that oh yeah well that's just the uh, safety 
do 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 slide catch. Looking for a uh oh it's up front. Bolt to cycle. Alright. There we go. That's pretty cool. Ooh, actually, that's, uh, that kind of looks like it's completely on there. Thought it looked like it had just like sort of a regular flash hider on it, but it sort of looks like it's just built onto the end of the barrel. Maybe, might be able to replace it. Either way, a little bit of black paint would take care of that. Do do the typical iron flip up irons. Are they? No, they're just flip up, flip up. Thought the thought the screw to hold them onto the rail was a button. Sometimes you kind of push that and it lets them up. But uh, kind of kind of high sights for being a uh, such a short barrel. But then again, you've also got uh, kind of a high uh, stock compared to overbore so your cheeks kind of already a little overbore so it actually works out pretty well it gives you a nice little sight picture actually that focuses well enough I can even aim two eyes open I like it a lot of times sights like that you really gotta close an eye to focus the room but that gives a real nice sight picture either way alright that I assume must make it so you can take the stock off Oop, that's the folder does lock into place so you can still uh, use it as a pistol if you want to kind of heavy as a pistol but uh, it can be done <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised a lot of times guns that are like a uh, little pistol caliber carbine like this when you fold the sights down they'll be kind of more pistol style sights built into the top so that you can still use it like uh, pistol sights because it would definitely be hard to focus on those holding it out in front of you but um yeah that is definitely awesome um and i i guess we can still call that cisco grant and a wish because i did say guess like on that you know three to four hundred is she budget range i i did mention you know uh to just throw me a gas blowback and also uh I guess you could just really call that a Gucci pistol, so maybe that's, you know, maybe that's the Gucciest pistol answer. <laughs> um, either way, I guess it, uh, I guess it checks both boxes one way or another. <laughs> I do like it's got that style. There's a few different pistols that use that style, uh, mag release too, the little drop lever. I like it because even not having the biggest of hands, I don't really have to shift my grip to, uh, get to it. And that's a nice easy drop all right well thank you cisco thanks airsoft gi thanks everybody for watching hope everybody enjoyed and uh this will be fun to get out and shoot we'll definitely bring this out for some indoor and god this makes me question do i want to run this as a backpack gun instead of the uh instead of the mp5k maybe maybe but, um, ooh, it might still be cold, so this might have to wait for later in the year. So I might still have to run the MP5K at the event in March. But, um, <laughs> but it'll get some use for sure. And, uh, don't forget to, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff that feeds the YouTube monster. Um, <laughs> and have a great night, everybody. Bye.